All right, so we've skipped the last few Shudder films, not because we haven't had interest, just because I don't know why. <laughs> I don't and, know why uh, either. And we intend to get back to the two we missed, uh, but we got to the most current one, uh, and there will be another one tomorrow, which I'm really, really looking forward to, so we'll definitely get on that one, uh, which uh, maybe we'll see tonight? Probably maybe? not. Maybe? <laughs> um, but this one is Sissy. Don't ever call me that. Sissy. Um, so now Sissy is about Sissy, <laughs> a.k.a. Cecilia, and she is an influencer. Yep. And Sissy runs into an old friend of hers, Emma, uh, at a drugstore, and they have not seen each other in a very long time, and she invites her to a party and when she gets there uh, some old wounds are opened up and someone's sanity is called into question <laughs> um, yep. and okay so a couple things so I think first out the gate I, I'm gonna talk about how insane the kills are in this film like I'm so insane <laughs> What I find kind of fascinating about that is, like, I'm the kill guy, mm -hmm. right? This is what I'm looking for. Like, I'm always about the gore and give me the kills and show it on screen. And they do that here. Every death in this film is on screen and is no cutaway. Yes. And they are violent. Like, there's one in particular that made me actually gasp out loud because <laughs> I just was... I was expecting it to cut away. Uh-huh. And not only does it not cut away, but it's one of the most graphic kills of this year and of recent memory. And Absolutely. I was just like, oh, okay, we're really going for broke here on the kills. And here's what's kind of shocking about that. This is definitely not the film that you would expect it from at all. And also, like, this is a film that, had they not shown any of the kills, mm -hmm. I would have still been super into the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the kills being here just is like this very welcomed bonus that just made the film even that much better because I pretty much just loved this film. And a lot of that has to do with the acting of Aisha D. Uh, who plays Cecilia. I think, if as of right now, you've got Mia Goth, mm -hmm. just right below her is Rebecca Hall mm -hmm. in Resurrection. Mia Goth is, I mean, she's got X. We got a cat fight going on. Um, we've got, you know, Mia Goth has is, is got two films, but Pearl, of course, being my favorite of the two. Mm -hmm. But then Rebecca Hall. And then right below them, is Aisha D. I think she's phenomenal in this film. Yeah, so I agree. So those would be my top my top three favorite performances from a from a female lead this year. And her friend Emma mm -hmm. is actually uh, play, you know the actress who plays her in the movie is who wrote and directed this movie. Oh wow, I didn't uh, realize along that. With, along with another uh, writer and director, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So. Oh, Your I, thoughts? I love the movie. I was so into it from the beginning, and I agree with you. I think her performance is, like, one of the best this year. She is so charming and, like, likable, but also scary. And sympathetic. It's just a very sympathetic um, character. And overall, like, the film has amazing style. Yes. It has, as you said, the kills yes. were just, like, the icing on top of the, of the cake and... Just the story, the plot, like where the characters go as far as their arcs are, like it's just perfect. It's a really great film. The social commentary yes. as well. Yeah. Right? Oh, absolutely. And the look at mental illness. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just kind of a, sh a spotlight being shown on like the... I don't want to say, well, I guess the uh, fakeness. Mm. of of the world yeah the superficiality yeah that yeah superficial mm -hmm. nature of the of the internet but also of life itself 
Because mm. there is this kind of duality going on in this film versus like what life is like as you're kind of curating this, you know, world uh, for your for you, right? You're 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 trying to um, you're trying to make it seem like your life is so perfect, mm. right? But in reality, we all know behind the camera, mm -hmm. things aren't always what they appear to be, you know. And I think that's really, really well, um, you know, done in this film. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, on the flip side of that, you know, you, you can be that person who is kind of faking it and you get around other people and you think like, oh, wow this is where it's really at, like in re in reality. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you kind of see beyond that and you see people are just fake in general. <laughs> you know, some people are just fake, period. Yeah. It doesn't matter if they're online because there's people that you know that are, that are true to life online uh -huh. as they are, you know, in real life. And then you know people, and I feel like it's kind of the one and the same, right? It's just like, the people who are fake as hell in real life are the ones who are fake as hell online. Yeah, sure. Right? Mm hmm Yeah, I love, I mean, the, the social commentary with, like, what is reality and how we create, like, our version of reality because it's as much for ourselves as it is for other people, you know? And, like, what it explores with that is just, it's really, really well done. And it's really fascinating. And, like, overall, the movie reminded me a lot of Pearl. Or of like, you know, X. It has the same type of like really um, like charismatic and prominent female lead. And you just are sucked in by her performance. Like I really was on just such a roller coaster with her. through And, and just some things like, I think for me, this is one of those characters where it's like, you can relate to so much. But even when you're relating to maybe some of the darker parts of um, the character, like... I don't know. I, it didn't ever take me out of it. Like, I didn't really feel put off by it. Yeah. You know. This movie also reminded me very much of a movie we watched this year called All My Friends Hate Me. Mm -hmm. um, where somebody goes to a party and when they get there, you know, it's supposed to be this good time. And everyone's really just kind of being a dick to this person. And, you know, this brings out a darker side of them. Mm -hmm. But with that film, we had talked about how, like, I couldn't really put a label on that film. That that film was, was very uh, hard uh, to put a, put a label on. Mm -hmm. But, but with this one, um, th this, this felt like that in, in its story to a degree, but this is absolutely like, um, dark satirical comedy and super ultra violent horror. Yes. Like, it's now I don't want you to make, I don't want to make it seem like there's a kill every five minutes and it's going to be just like a, a slaughter fest and some slasher movie. That's not the case. No. There's probably four or five deaths altogether. Mm -hmm. But man, when they happen, they're just so surprisingly violent. That I I just was not expecting it. Not while we were watching this. Because this film is very like, you know, whimsical mm. and lighthearted in its opening. And things are going um, well until they get awkward. Uh -huh. And you think it's just going to be like a breakdown of a character. And that and that things are going to things are going to start to, um, you know, degradate and, 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 and fall apart. Uh, but man, it, like you just, I don't know. I, I was expecting that if anyone died, it would be like off screen, mm -hmm. quick stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's in your face. Like, oh man, is it, it in is your face. There. And it's wonderful. It's so it's wonderful. wonderful. But if you are, you know, if you're like, oh, I don't know, man, I'm, I'm not a huge gore fan. These kills might be a, a little rough like for you. Cause I don't know the kind of audience this would attract. They're going to be so shocked yeah. by the kills. Because mm -hmm. it kind of has this, like, 
chick flick feel kind to of, it. Like kind not, of, not yeah. totally not in a bad way. Not in a bad way, but like the whimsy and like the kind of there's this lightheartedness. And the there's beginning. a lot of like cattiness between yes. women. And oh my god, when I tell you nothing makes me more uncomfortable yeah. than when we're watching a movie and people are being like especially when other women are being total bitches to each other. Yeah. Like I get so uncomfortable and I just hate it. And this film there's a good amount of it, and but it's perfect because it really puts you in into the mindset of um, uh, of sissy of Cecilia. But yeah, it's weird. I think that uh, for the type of film, the gore is unexpected. Another interesting thing with this film is like, I don't know who to root for. I know. Well, that's what I was meaning. Because uh. like on one hand, I'm like, oh, I you know really shouldn't relate that much, and like it's kind of like the dark part of of yourself that you know wants to get revenge on bullies and whatnot. Yeah. So you are. She's not really. I don't know. It's not quite the anti-hero type of thing, but it almost is. It toes the line for sure. Uh, absolutely, for sure. it's right in that gray area uh-huh. of like, ooh, I don't know if I can support that. And like, ooh, I, I think I do support that, though. Oh, man. But right? So that's... you, you kind of go back and forth with it. Yeah. But man, the performance um, from our main is, is excellent. The kills are excellent. I think the slight on modern culture mm-hmm. is excellent and, and very well done. Um, I Honestly, I don't think that I could really come up with a negative for the film. I I love the style. Mm-hmm. There's a ton of style on display, especially a lot of stuff with like glitter. Oh my god. I which just, I thought was freaking awesome. I love it so much. Because that's it. That's just it. There is this really like lighthearted feel to it, uh-huh. but that's because it's through the lens of our main character, which is what's so great about it. Yes. Is because she is like trying so hard to be this sweet person yes. but she's not no. and so the whole film kind of mirrors her mm-hmm. so man an excellent film one of very one excellent. of my very favorites of the year yeah. and a shocker uh-huh. because i knew literally nothing when we press play mm-hmm. nothing yeah nothing. like i saw the poster and was like i think that's a woman i think that's a black woman's hair I think. That's it. That's what I had to go off of. Wow. What what in-depth analysis of of an idea or or a synopsis. Nothing. I Nothing. No. And so when it came on, I was kind of like, oh, this is going to be, you know, um, some slant towards society and, and whatever. Like, okay, like it'll be a social commentary. But I was not expecting this deep dive into someone's psyche that's like this which is a character we don't really explore that often. Mm-hmm. You know, the characters are... Um, th- this one le- definitely leaves you in a grayer area. Yeah. And and the ending is satisfying, but, like, you, you kind of feel, I don't know, unsure about your satisfaction with it. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. That's a good way to put it's it. It's a confusing... You have confusing, conflicting feelings while watching it, and that's great. Yeah. Because the characters in it have confusing, conflicting feelings. Right. And, yeah. It's, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a, it's a great one. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. I definitely could not recommend it more. Um, especially if you're a fan of something like Pearl or X or even if you liked All My Friends Hate Me. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, it's currently streaming on Shudder. Um, definitely worth your time. Uh, if nothing else, you know, if you're just a gore hound, fast forward to the kills. They're freaking awesome. But I think you should watch the whole thing because yeah. I think the whole movie is great. But I feel like there's something for everyone. Like if you got a girlfriend who's not that into horror, mm. <laughs> and she's like, I want to watch something, you know, <laughs> you're just like, oh, I got something. And she'll be like really into it at first. And then the first, you know, one of the kills will happen. And she'll be like, what the, f- <laughs> what is this? What did you put on? Yeah, maybe. Well, yeah. I don't know. Do do what you want. <laughs> Show it to who you want. Yeah. Well, let us know if you watch it. All right. Bye. Bye.